Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Emergency 5 Let's Play. We are back here as you can see with the Dutch modification, the first real, well, quote unquote real modification that there is for uh, Emergency 5. Still I say this is the beginning of something great and the beginning of modding in EM5 uh, as we know it from EM4. And uh, I'm again very honored that I was the one chosen to make the first video on uh, on this mod and uh, I have pretty exciting news because there is more to come which I can reveal in a couple of weeks uh, I can let you guys know more but just know that the modding in EM4, uh, EM5 is not dead by any stretch of the imagination um, there's also uh, this week or actually by the end of this week uh, we gonna see uh, the release or I'm gonna be able to release the first video for uh, the airport firefighter simulator so that is super exciting um, because I was looking forward to this game a while and uh, the the storyline in this game is uh, gonna be completely different um, if you've seen letter 49 then this is pretty much or it, it, it is loosely based on on that uh, so we we gonna see uh, yeah we gonna see some some acting some professional voice acting actually they they uh, recruited or they hired uh, professional voice actors this time around so uh, there is a lot to see um, and of course the biggest thing is we are going to see American apparatus which uh, yeah I mean I I know I was looking forward to that for a long time what are you guys doing. Why I... why? Why? Come on. Unbelievable. But, yeah, anyways. Um, so that's gonna be pretty ex exciting and, and, and interesting news. Uh, I mean, this is really... Uh, in From January up until the end of April, there was really not... There was really nothing that was going on but now that seems to I'm, I'm sorry when I'm stopping here every now and again but I just do not know what those paramedics are doing I mean yes you have ro you you have little uh, casters on the on the striker but it doesn't mean you have to to da hmm anyway so we got take, taken care of that one and as you can see we are here in Hamburg um, I'm still working on getting the campaign to the point where we left off um, with the old series but unfortunately it takes a while and with so many games um, to cover there is just so much time I have in the day and uh, but we're getting there we're getting there but uh, yeah so uh, yeah what else uh, there's a couple of new helicopter simulations coming out there is a new series on arma 3 that i am going to start here right away um this time focusing more on the military part and uh, on the medivac part at that and i'm gonna be joined uh on this series on a couple of uh, uh you can say bigger names which i cannot disclose at this point um who exactly but uh rest assured it's gonna be good um, or oh, I hope anyway. Take all the casualties to the hospital. That's what we're doing right now. But, uh, yeah, so lots of exciting things coming up. And, uh, don't worry, I will talk about that in a Coffee with the Northerns here right away too. But I figured since this is somewhat emergency related, I talk about this, um, here as well. And we have a vehicle fire. There it is. Well then, let's send you. Brandwehr. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. And here of course the call to action. If you like this video, then please hit that like button and uh, let others know. Because try to brighten people's days and if you let others know then you help doing that too and that it works at least partially works 
uh, is shown to me every time when I get a private message from uh, some of you guys that tell me that really, oh, I had a bad day and watched one of your videos, now I feel better. And that's, that's basically what it's all about. It's not about money. <laughs> it's certainly not about money. It's not about fame, but it's about spreading the message and making a difference in people's lives. That's why most of the YouTuber, YouTubers or should do it anyway. That's why most of them started. Mm, some lost their way, but that's on a different story. And I mean, if you look, people like PewDiePie, for example, people are sometimes really, really mad because he makes quote-unquote so much money. Well, you have to also keep in mind that PewDiePie spends a ton of money on charitable, charitable donations. Um, and he's not the only one. I mean, a ton of live streamers that I know are always uh, very, very... Um, engaged in child's play and stuff like that so it's really yes of course you you want to get uh, i mean the money is a nice part don't get me wrong because especially if, and, and i'll be honest with that it pays for a lot of the of the costs associated with with running a channel i mean you have the editing software that costs 50 bucks a month and you have um well it depends if you are cre if you are in creative cloud anyway that's, so that's 50 bucks a month then all kinds of, of games that you play, if you don't get them from a developer, which you don't always, um, then you have to spend money on that. Or for example, now the Armor 3 server, I mean, this is all th those are costs that have to be covered. And uh, from that point of view, I mean, yeah, YouTube pays for that for sure. And uh, I mean, if you do it full time, then obviously it is a job like everybody else. And I'm just lost my headset. This is wonderful. There. Let's get some tow trucks. I don't know. I'm just talking about random random stuff today that comes to my mind. And what do we have here? Medical emergency. Yay. Hopefully we're gonna be able to I'm gonna send a police car too just so we can can shut down here because there is a bus station and I really do not want um I really do not want anybody to walk in there. Looks like we're gonna be good though, because there's not all that much uh, traffic going on right now, which is good. Which is good. Um, <coughs> what's going on here? Did they send two? No, certainly not. Oh, I can hear the police coming. It's coming around the bend. Okay, here we go. Let's get this started. There. And here. And here. Really? Come on now. I like that that they had actually um, those uh, barriers. And yes, I said barrier, not bay area. Here we go. So now we make sure that nobody gets to our infected and is spreading the disease, which is good. At the same token, we have somewhat of traffic um, of uh, traffic control here in place there we go that was easy so now that we are here we can quickly do this and we have a bomber bomb alert so let's send the police and 
now, if he decides to do funny stuff, um, he's going to be in for a surprise because I said, well, as you can see here, he is armed and obviously dangerous. Um, we are going to send... Just to be safe, I'm going to send one uh, fire truck on standby here. Just like that. On that same token though, we can start and... He looks a little bit sad. Okay, let's go back to our bomber. I'm gonna send him on standby as well. Okay, well, let's see how this all is gonna turn out. We have fire department on standby, we have this bomb squad arriving here right away, as well as a patrol car or two. So we should be good. Arrest him, arrest him, arrest him. Okay, or shoot him. That works too. Well, he's a bomber, he lost all his rights to... ...non-lethal treatment the second he put that bomb down, as far as I'm concerned. And yes, that might not be a very, very popular stance in a day and age where... ...everything goes, but... ...that's okay. Let's watch Roby, Robbie the Robot at work. Okay. So I should have sent an ambulance right away too, which of course I forgot, but that's okay as well. We can work around that. And we have a garbage fire. Okay, so thankfully we had some fire trucks here anyway you know I would really 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 like to see and I said that before that um, the fire department uses hydrants the way they are supposed to use and not hook their hook their uh, attack line directly to the hydrant drives me nuts personally but oh well it's all good it's all fun and games up until somebody gets hurt You can... I don't think you can arrest him anymore, but nice try anyway. Okay, so... Now we're waiting for... You guys can go back to quarters. Thanks for responding. And as you can hear... Ambulance is just around the corner. Oh, oh. I really hope that eventually we're gonna see um, some kind of patrol function, but I know for a fact this is going to be uh, quite a while yet until we see stuff like that, but eventually it would be nice to see it and I'm pretty sure that, uh, given enough time, the modding community will once again come through and fulfill, if not exceed, all those expectations, because that's what happened with EM4. I mean, EM4, there is mods now that the developers never thought their game was available, or was, was uh, um, capable of doing. So, we have the garbage fire here, which now is... Uh, yeah, we have a couple of things here going on at the same time, so... I love the fact that the guys put BA on as soon as you go towards uh, the fire. 
That is so nice. There. Perfect. Let's go then. Oh, hello. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you over here. Okay, I wanna make sure that we have this gentleman back in the ambulance before... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is a little bit bigger by now than I expected it to be, but that is all okay. We, we have the situation well under control. Of course, burning tires, that's always a little bit uh, of a problem. Oh, oh. Now the cars are starting to catch too. That, that is a little bit of a problem. But that's okay. That's okay. We can do it. I have faith. Oh wow, that was a fast response. Can we take care of that car now, please? Thank you. Thank you. I love the fact that different things burn in different intensity. Like when when tires burn, it takes a lot longer to extinguish them than it takes, for example, the tree. That is really, really nicely done, which is... Uh, true, I mean it takes a lot to get rubber burning, but once it it's burn it burns, then boy oh boy. She's on a fire then. And here we go with that. Go ahead here. So we are still taking that one to the hospital. Meanwhile, as you can see here, we are getting rid of uh, the burned out vehicle. And our firefighters can return to quarters since they were out now for quite a while. Call after call. Oh, that's why they were so fast. That makes sense. But look at all the reflections. I mean, this is so, so much more oh, defective switch box. That's always fun. Um, so much more advanced than it was with uh, Emergency 4. I mean, the graphics, they can't even compare them. Come on now, hurry up. I will never understand why people would cross in front of an emergency vehicle with lights and siren going. That is something I never understood and I will never understand. Come on now. How much further? Okay, one street over and one street up. Okay. I love the fact that they turn the siren on when they approach a red light. Would be nice if they slow down too, but I guess you can't have more. I mean, the the AI, uh, the AI uh, driving behavior is so much better though. And here we are. Just in time. Doesn't seem like there's very many people on the street today compared to usually. But we can buy our next emergency vehicle here, which is the the boat transport. 
Karl Schwartz. Hmm. Well, that's a German name if I ever heard one. Diplom-Ingenieur Karl Schwartz. 